sensational. Hello and welcome to the latest AO Countdown. A great day back with us this week, Peter Mercado. By popular demand, Ni Hao, Brett, very nice to see you. The December showdown is going on here at the moment. We're getting closer, the AO series, and then back here for the two weeks of the Open. Only a few weeks to go. Pretty exciting times around here at Melbourne Park. Let's get into the latest AO Countdown. Coming up today, the countdown continues to Australian Open 2011. We look at who's in contention for an Australian Open wildcard. Leighton Hewitt declares next year won't be his last. Roger Federer sets his sights on major title number 17. Plus, Adrian Franklin unveils the new Australian Open website. All that and more coming up on the Australian Open Countdown. Well, it's a dream for any player to make the main draw of a Grand Slam, but for those not lucky enough to make the direct entry cut-off, Pete, they can get a wildcard spot. Absolutely, Brett. Eight men's and eight women's wildcards will be handed out over the coming weeks, and we've seen how valuable they can be. Just ask Elena Dockage. Who will forget her run at the 2009 Australian Open after she won that wildcard playoff, made the quarterfinal stage, and gave the Australian tennis public a lot to sing about. Absolutely, and she got her start to that campaign by winning the wildcard playoff that year. She's reached the final of this year's event, just couldn't get over the line. Olivia Rogowska, too good, winning in three sets. In the men's event, it was a topsy-turvy match. Five sets it took for Marinko Matosovic to beat the rain, a changing court, and a tenacious Peter Luchak. And we look forward to seeing Marinko and Olivia in round one action at the Australian Open in 2011. The 1976 final was an all-Aussie affair, pitting the reigning champion John Newcomb against the unseeded Mark Edmondson. With hot winds swirling around Kuyong, Newcomb, who had already won seven majors, took the first set in a tie-break and appeared to be en route to defending his Aussie crown. But then the wind began to change direction and Edmondson levelled the match. Oh, great shot. But the third set had to be suspended because of the gale force gusts billowing around Kuyong. Because of the weather conditions, play will be suspended for a short while until this blows over. Thank you. It's virtually impossible to play with the things blowing across the court. Thank you. When the match resumed, the set went to the wire. But it was the outsider ranked 212 who sent shockwaves around centre court. Although the crowd expected Newcomb to battle back, Edmondson delivered the knockout punch early in the fourth blasting his way to a 6-1 victory. The former window cleaner was so excited to have upstaged the former world number one that he promptly dropped the trophy. Edmondson remains the last Aussie male to win the Australian Open. I bet you, even go, you haven't even got a victory speech prepared, have you? Nah. <laughs> In news this week, tennis players past and present hit the blue carpet in Melbourne for the 2010 Australian Tennis Awards. Sam Stoza capped off a remarkable year, being named as the inaugural winner of the John Newcomb Medal. In front of a raucous home crowd, Novak Djokovic led Serbia to a memorable 3-2 victory over France in the Davis Cup final. Leighton Hewitt began his preparations for the Australian summer, rejecting suggestions that he was nearing retirement. Yeah, this won't be my last, but um, yeah, I don't have a number. I think with the, the injuries I've had and, and you know, small setbacks with those, it kind of um, yeah probably goes through your mind a little bit more because you never know what's yeah absolutely around the corner. The fortunate thing about tennis, though, is you know, I can retire on my terms. And the big names keep rolling on for the AO Series. Seven out of the top ten women set to compete at the Medibank International in Sydney, including the world number one, Caroline Wozniacki. Got a couple of others for you, Pete. Yelena Dokic uh, confirmed as the first wildcard for the Brisbane International and Marion Bartley, the top seed for the Marilla Hobart International. I well, love for the game, um, like it's always been. You know, There's always ways to motivate you, to challenge you, and... Uh, 
um, I've never really been in it, in it for the money anyway, you know. Um, it's always been my dream to play on the biggest uh, stages around the world. Time to continue our look at the Australian Open contenders for 2011. And Pete, there's one name that we have to mention, and that is Roger Federer. Can't go past him, Brett. Trying to emulate the feats of this guy, Rod Laver. Plays on Rod Laver Arena. He cried when he received the trophy from the great man. And he'll be looking to do it again in January. Who can forget his four-set win over Andy Murray earlier this year? You can never write Roger Federer off. Will it be major number 17 for Roger? Well, we're not too far away from finding out. He's still absolutely keen as mustard to win Grand Slam tournaments, and that's all that matters. He doesn't care about world number one ranking anymore. He gears his whole year around the majors, and I think he'll be really hurting having not made a final since last year's Australian Open, and I'd put him right up there in the top four. I think if Roger has a fire in his belly, he's capable of anything. And, you know, Roger could turn around and win two majors next year, and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. The brand new Australian Open website is now live and packed full of new features. On the web or on your phone, you can access live scores, news, photos and video content. New in 2011, you can interact in our Match Centre on Twitter or Facebook. History Box can analyse draws and results dating back to 1905. And you'll get an enhanced view of the best images from the tournament with our full screen photo gallery. The hugely popular iPhone also returns. Plus, those with an iPad can access the official Australian Open program. Don't forget, you can watch live coverage on AO TV or tune into AO Radio for ball by ball coverage. Stay logged on to AustralianOpen.com all summer for your tennis fix. Great segment, boys. Eyes on the road, Franklin. Now don't forget, with Christmas around the corner, there are still some great tickets available for the Australian Open. Gift vouchers are available too through Ticketek. From Brett Phillips and Peter Mercado, thanks once again for joining us as we continue the countdown to Australian Open 2011. A hotel, please. Hey, don't make me replace it again, mate. Look, you know, the segment was okay. I, I gave it a six. Six out of ten. You're improving. You're improving. That's you could be someone someday. That's not what I've heard. <laughs> I've heard nine and ten, to be honest. <laughs>